Good day, Bulawayo residents. I am Mr. Cloud Moyo. I am the principal chemist under the engineering services department. I am responsible for monitoring the quality of water and wastewater in the city of Bulawayo. And as a department, we have got a section that we call the laboratory. The lab actually monitors the water from the dams, from the source, which is the source supply of our water. As you may be aware, we receive our water from uh, six supply dams, which are located in the, on the eastern side of the city. And this water is pumped to two treatment plants, which are Criterion Waterworks and Nema Waterworks. Criterion Waterworks being the largest treatment plant. And then as a laboratory, what we do, we monitor the raw water from the dams so that we determine its quality, its suitability for, 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 for treatment. Actually, we want, want to determine the treatment needs of that water before it is even treated. We have to determine the chemicals that we have to put in the water. Before we treat the water also, we actually monitor the quality of chemicals that we have from suppliers. And monitor these chemicals by determining the quality of those water treatment chemicals to determine their suitability for water treatment. And when the water arrives at the treatment plant, it is treated, it undergoes a number of stages filtration, coagulation, uh, disinfection, up to the point that we then discharge that water to the, to the distribution network. And at the treatment plant, we monitor the, the performance of each unit, unit by unit. As I have said that we have got filtration, we have got coagulation, filtration, all those those stages are monitored to make sure that the water is, effective, is effectively treated. And then when the water leaves the plant, the treatment plant, it goes to reservoirs, what we call service reservoirs. At the service reservoirs, the water is stored there, and then from there it gravitates to consumer points, to residential areas. And the quality of water coming out of the reservoirs is also monitored to make sure that there is consistency in terms of quality from the time it left the treatment plant up to the time it leaves the, the reservoirs. From the reservoirs, the water gravitates to various consumer points throughout the city. And at the consumer points, we have got sampling points, a number of sampling points, close to 100 sampling points that we monitor on a regular basis to make sure that at the sampling points, when the water arrives there, it is of acceptable quality. For example, the residual chlorine of the water should be between 0.2 and 0.5 milligrams per liter. And then there are also a number of parameters that we monitor, including bacteriological quality. As Bulawayo residents, you will note that this water, people don't complain about quality of water throughout the city. We've got certain points where we, have, we find that people complain about water quality. Sometimes it is because of a number of reasons. It could be because it could be an handicap where because water flows through the pipes and sometimes there are pests. Because of those pests, sometimes there's accumulation of mud when a pest occurs. And then that mud normally accumulates at the end cap, at the end of a a pipe at the end of the line. So those places sometimes we get flushed. Our plumbers flush those points to clear the water so that the water when it reaches the consumer, it is clear. Sometimes it will be because of pests or leaks, where there is infiltration, all those things will cause water disturbances in terms of quality. Otherwise, the water when it leaves the treatment plant, it will be of acceptable quality. It will be meeting the uh, SARS standards.
And then we also have got uh, water complaints that we attend to. If people complain about our water, the quality of water, we do attend to these water complaints and we collect these water samples, we test them for free. We don't, test, we don't ask rest, residents to pay so that at least we make sure that the water is safe. As a seat, we do not only receive water from the dams only. We have got water coming from our poles at Nyamendlov and Epping Forest. That water also is tested by the laboratory. Its quality is monitored. And that water is also treated. It is disinfected. We do not uh, add coagulants to this water because the water coming from underground is normally filtered by the soil. So what we only do, we disinfect it at uh, Epping Forest there, at Yamadlovu, and we also uh, disinfect again the water at Kautri Park Booster Pump Station. And then we pump that water to, Kau to Makwekwe Reservoir, where it blends with that from Criterion so that we lower the hardness of the water, so that the water is acceptable in terms of consuming the water and in also in terms of washing, because it should be not be hard, it should be fairly soft. So we blend that water by mixing with that from Criterion. And the bulk of that blending comes from Criterion. So, and then sometimes you find that our water has got a number of challenges. You find that the water is muddy, as I have already mentioned, that muddiness is sometimes caused by being the water received at end caps. Sometimes it will be due to pests. In such water, we normally ask residents to just use that water for other purposes, gardening, put them in the packets. Sometimes it's cyclic. You can even use it in the sustains. When it is cyclic, you can put it in your sustain. When it is cyclic, then throw away that very muddy water. Sometimes the water is, uh, is milky, that one is very easy, that is due to pressure. When our pipelines are empty, suppose there is water shedding, when water is finally restored, that air within the pipes dissolves in the water to make the water milky. And that water normally clears from the bottom of the glass upwards. And then also water sometimes smells. You find that there is smell in the water. Such water should not be consumed. We urge residents to, to, to report such in incidences to our call center so that at least we attend to such problems. Or as residents of Lawa, you are urged to boil water if you, are not, if you find that the water is not satisfied, you are not happy about the quality of the water. We should boil it. Otherwise, our water is safe for drinking. We find that most of you that have been drinking our water without boiling, you will agree with me that you have never gone sick because of drinking that water. But I'm saying that if you, are, if you find that there is something wrong with what that you are noticing, please report such incidences. I would like to thank you as the residents of law and urge you to continue using our water and also urge you to continue reporting any problems with our water. Also, with regards to boil water as a city, we urge you to boil boil water all the time if you'll use it for drinking because boil water is not treated water. As a city, we cannot guarantee its treatment because it is not protected water, it is not piped. From source, it is, only dis it is not even disinfected. Here I'm talking to I'm talking of city bowls, where, which are located throughout the city, especially in the residential areas. These ones are not treated at all, unlike the water coming from Yamandlovu and Epping Forest.